What's up guys, it's the captain and I'm showing you some domination on the map Sea Town and I cut off the first part of the video because I didn't really do well, the game starts off pretty slow. Uh, so it's a little a little bit boring to watch. And um, I heard some rumors today about Black Ops 2 kill streaks and I wanted to give you guys my opinion on it and I wanted to give you guys some of my own thoughts on these kill streaks because I think that the kill streaks are one of the most important things in the Call of Duty series. So, um, and by the way, what I'm saying, what I'm claiming is just what I think is first worthy from what I heard. I'm not sure what's being confirmed or what's being said that's not true. I'm not sure about that. I didn't pay too much attention to the Black Ops 2 news. I'm just uh, giving my opinions on what I think is first worthy. So, please no hate if you don't agree with me or you're like, no, it's already been confirmed that that's not in the game so I didn't know it if I'm wrong so uh, no hate please so let's get started from what I heard is that there will be uh, assault kill streaks there will be support kill streaks and specialist uh, kill streaks just like in Modern Warfare 3 a little bit different from what I heard but it will be in Black Ops 2 and I think that that's great so let's start off with the assault kill streaks um, I really like it because it gives you this opportunity to change your class uh, at every, uh, I mean, your kill streaks at every class that you make. So you can be like, nah, this is like a weapon where I usually don't get a high kill streak with. So I can uh, kind of degrade my kill streaks to make it a little bit more easy for me. I really like that. You can do the same with the specialist or the support. Um, I really like that. So I'm happy that they kept that in the game. And um, what I really do not want to see is the second kill streak. So what you see in Modern Warfare 3, because I think it's a little bit easy mode. Like when you get a predator, you you get a double kill, and then you have a helicopter, and they, that one makes two kills, and then you have a reaper. I think that that's easy mode, and I prefer prefer like kill streaks where you need to be skillful for it, just like in Black Ops, so the kill streaks won't stack up. So you have to be a skillful player to get the highest kill streaks. I really like that, and I really hope that they include that in Black Ops 2. Now the support kill streak, um, it will probably be the same, but what I want to see is that they remove the kill streaks that 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 can make kills. So I do not want to see stealth bombers in it or the other bullshit that makes kills because support is support and if you're like yeah but if you have a stealth bomber you can support your team by killing people yeah but why not include a, a freaking chopper then that's just bullshit if you're saying that so I prefer um, just the kill streaks that really support like the black birth uh, which will probably be back in Black Ops 2 and um, you know the other stuff that's showing enemies on a map and some cool ideas that I had like you have the um, the armor the armor that you can drop on the floor in Modern Warfare 3 and I hope that they have the same as that in Black Ops 2 and if you're like get a higher kill streak then I hope that you will get like something like the x-ray binoculars or something x-ray goggles that you can drop on the floor and some of your teammates can pick it up so you have like x-rays for a specific amount of time that would be pretty cool they need to balance it but it will be really cool in my opinion of course because we've seen the x-ray uh, ACOG scope in the campaign uh, teaser you know that we've seen up E3 and I hope that they do some more stuff with X-Ray because that's a really cool aspect of games in the future that you can that you can make those kinds of kill streaks so that would be really cool and um, yeah that's what I wanted to say about support package uh, something else yeah the specialist um, perk Kill streak rewards. Uh, that's great. I'm re I'm really happy that they kept that in the game. It's awesome. I don't use it that often, but I'm happy that they kept that in the game. Uh, I don't really want any changes for it. It's great as it is now. But what I hope next to it is because a lot of people use specialists to get the Moab. The you know everyone knows what a Moab is. Uh, most of the people will use the specialist package to to get that Moab, and I hope that. Black Ops 2 has a kill streak, uh, a little bit like a Moab. I'm not sure, like a a hidden kill streak that everyone has. That would be really cool, and that will be a reason to use a specialist package because otherwise I won't really use it much. So I hope that they have something uh, to go for when you use a specialist package because that will be a really nice challenge. And I really like going for those high kill streaks, the really hard ones where you need to be really skillful for. Like the nuke in Modern Warfare 2 was a little bit easy mode because you know of the Harrier, Chopper, 
nuke that would that was really easy but a moab is a lot harder and um i didn't didn't get those too much but um i, I really hope that they have something like that in black ops 2 and uh, some other ideas that i had is uh remove the freaking dead streaks i really hate them i've never liked them before and i hate the fact that you know, bad players get rewarded for how worse they do. I really, really hate it. And it only works as a frustration part for me. I mean, oh, by the way, fuck my life. Um, but yeah, it only works as frustration for most of the players. And I'm pretty sure that the people that get the death tricks aren't really happy with it that they get the death tricks. I just think it's bullshit and it's only frustration so uh, they should remove it and instead of like last 10 they should make it like a kill streak so that you can um, like for instance make it a five kill streak and then once you get that it uh, activates automatically and when you're like dying on a 12 kill streak then you have the last 10 not many people will use that and the people that use it can benefit from it because they do did pretty well they got a five kill streak so they get rewarded for doing pretty well. That's a good thing. I hate the fact that they get rewarded for doing bad. So that would be a great thing. And um, you know the the gun that we saw at the E3 in the campaign. You know the X-ray ACOG. I hope that they make that a kill streak and not an attachment because that will be a little bit OP. And if you make it a kill streak like uh, you had in Black Ops, you had the um, you had the Grim Reaper and you had the Dead Machine that were dropped in care packages. Why not make that X-ray gun, the X-ray attachment? Why not make it a kill streak that's be that would be dropped in a care package? So that would balance it a little bit. It would be a little bit OP if you could see through walls all the time. You had like these massive campers, probably also a way to shoot the campers, but that's another thing um but yeah it would be a little bit more balanced if you'd make that a kill streak so uh, those were my opinions i hope you enjoyed guys and thanks for all the support that i've gotten i've grown a lot since my last call of duty video and i really appreciate it i'm really trying to improve what i say so thanks a lot and i will see you guys next time please subscribe for more please support me even further and i will see you guys next time i'm out adeuces